because human beings are different. Human beings have the ability to have rational speech, to reason, not just consciousness, not just the ability to feel. Human beings are the only species that can not just feel pain and pleasure, but can tell the just from the unjust. Today, we're checking out Charles K. Quash's work for abortion students. Bro, let's be honest, abortion is wrong. Like, what do you think about abortion? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, let's get straight into this. Abortion seems to be like a big topic these days. And I was actually at your booth earlier. I was just listening in and that was a big topic there too. Um, and so I guess I just had a question about that because at the booth, like whenever you were, whenever someone was asking you like, why, why are we valuing the fetus? It kept coming back to human life. And um, like, I didn't really understand what you meant by that because when, it, when you say human life, the, like human life by definition is an organism or a being that has human DNA. And so when the fetus only really has that connection with, you know, like fully grown adults or just like born children, what entitles the fetus to violate the property rights of the mother over her own body or to have the government do so on her behalf? D does that baby have unique DNA? Yeah. Yes. So by your own definition, that should be worthy of protection, right? No, I don't yes. believe that DNA has moral value. Just oh, okay, got it. So, so what, when does human life begin? Well, human life, I guess, if you say like an organism that is human species, by definition, begins at conception. Right, so then my position is that being that begins at conception is worthy of constitutional rights and but protection. why? What, do, what moral value does simply having being an organism, even if it's just a single-celled organism, right. yeah. that has human DNA, what moral value? Right, because that? human beings are different. Human beings have the ability to have rational speech, to reason, not just consciousness, not just the ability to feel. Human beings are the only species that can not just feel pain and pleasure, but can tell the just from the unjust. Human beings are something that is so beautiful and so special, and of course I have many different reasons to believe this, but I'll make a natural law argument, that that DNA will never exist again. It's distinct, and it is living. And if allowed uninterrupted growth, that human being will hopefully mature into something just like you have. And we're all abortion survivors, aren't we? I... <laughs> sure. Okay, so you mentioned the, I guess, the rationality that makes human beings special. But that single-celled organism doesn't have that rationality yet. And so what qualifies the entirety of the human species to... Got it. Have so my seven-week-old doesn't have a lot of rationality yet. It, I mean, my, my baby girl eats and does other things and sleeps. Does, I mean, obviously you would agree, it's that seven-week-old has value. Well, yeah, but I'd, I'm not coming from an argument of rationality. I'd come from more of like a self-ownership type perspective. And I simply don't believe that an organism that is inherently dependent like on, the, on like violating another person's property rights in order to survive Right. So, but that. I mean, my seven week old is very dependent on my wife and me. That doesn't mean I can just eliminate Not my inherently. seven week old. Like, I'm sorry. Obvi obviously, like the seven week old depends on like for practicality and living. But if we're talking about a moral perspective, right, just the capacity to have rationality. Why right. does that give it moral value? Okay. But we're talking about two different things. I guess the question <laughs> is, do you believe just because something is dependent on another? Is that a reason that you could be able to eliminate that being? If that being has to violate someone else's moral rights in order to do so, yes. Really? Yeah. So what moral rights are, are, do you mean by that? The right to have like autonomy over your own body. If another actor is violating those rights, then yes. Why do you have it, sex in the first place? Like so, so bodily autonomy would be more important than another being being able to live a full life. Yeah, I would value a being that has the right to property over one that doesn't have a right to property yet. Got it. Just because the being is older and not in the womb and bigger. And also because the being is a person and not just an organism. Okay, so, but if that being's one week old, it's more than a single cell or organism. Yeah, but that person, that one week old still has, like, autonomy over themselves, at least at one week old. Like, has an inherent, like, Got it. Okay. natural so, autonomy over so themselves. So this is where we have clarity but not agreement. Here's the problem, okay? Morality that built the West and the morality that I'm going to defend tonight is that one week old can't defend themselves, so stronger, bigger people not in the womb need to insert themselves to make sure that one week old is not terminated by people that are just happen to be older and bigger than them. 
is that regardless of size, as soon as that life begins, which you agreed it starts at conception, that being deserves constitutional rights, uniquely and fearfully made. And it's the question of the morality of a society, of what we're willing to do when that being comes into existence. Because human life is special. Human life is different than dolphins. It's different than chimpanzees. We not just have the ability to reason, and I'm going to make an argument you might not agree with. Yes, human beings have a soul. And a soul is worthy of protection. I would even go as far to say that human being is made in the image of the creator. I don't expect you to agree with that. Final point. Okay, so I guess um, I would just believe that the only types of, I mean, at least the only types of humans that can have moral rights are ones that act as moral agents. And a single-celled organism that's living in a womb or a multicellular organism that's living in a womb. Can you right? explain what you mean by moral agents? Moral agency? Well, like, so if you don't have moral agency, then you could be up for elimination. If you don't have, I mean, if you don't have moral agency, if you don't have like the ability to like, if you don't have ownership over your own body yet. Yeah. So that, by yeah. the way, th that is a, babies until they're about eighteen months old do not have ownership of their own body. No, I would say that they would. They do. Okay. How would my seven-week-old feed herself if I just left her in the crib? That's not ownership over your own body, though. The ability to move your body by instinct, even, is ownership over your own body. Okay. So a twenty-two-week, twenty-two-week-old baby in the womb moves all the time. Yes. You're contradicting yourself. You have to have a line. At 15 weeks, six weeks, there's a heartbeat. I guess I would say that, um, okay, so that was a good point. I'll admit. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. See, I love arguing someone like this, like, someone who knows that, yo, I fucked up, like, what the fuck? Like, he, he, he's honest, and I, I'm just gonna say that I love honest people. Like, I believe that those, people want to learn like if you can prove your points to them like they're willing to like assimilate it and i'll say this like a child is a child i don't know why people are this is what a woman said she, she was like people are trying to look for different names like to diminish the fact that that is a living human being like he said organism he said fetus like this is a child growing and for me to be honest like a child should be protected I honestly know that there are some people who cannot take care of a child and they just choose to abort it. And I just, if you ever watch from mouthwash, like the woman said, yes, I bought my child, but like I knew it was wrong and it broke me, but like I didn't have what to do. Like I can't bring a child into this life so far like I am. And like, do you know why I kind of like understand her is the fact that she understood what she did was wrong and she's remorseful about it. And she said she was going to go back in time, she wouldn't have done that. This is different from someone that feels like, yo, it's right for you to kill the child. Like, just go and kill the child. Like, I, I honestly think it doesn't make sense. But there's no way you can, like, reduce the name to organism, fetus. It's not good. Like, we all understand that if you don't want to bring a child into this world, use con contraceptive, use protection, or don't have sex. Like, don't do these things and get to the point where yo i have to kill the child like there are a lot of ways you can prevent this from ever happening but guys don't think about this just like just got my channel i'll see you next time guys please